double bonds affect the melting point of that particular fatty acid. So again, let's suppose in one beaker, let's say we have the following fatty acid without this double bond. And in the second beaker, we have a fatty acid that contains this cis double bond. What exactly is the difference between one beaker and the second beaker? Well, in the case of no double bonds, so this molecule minus this double bond, the molecule will essentially be a linear straight chain molecule. And that means they can stack on top of one another very well. And by stacking very well, we have a very small distance between the molecules. And if the distance is smaller, the intermolecular bonds are stronger. But in the mixture that contains these cis double bonds, the stacking is, isn't very well. So one molecule is positioned this way, the other one is this way. And so we have many, we have much less of the intermolecular interaction taking place in the case where we have those double bonds. And so essentially because double bonds create these kinks, these deviations in the geometry of the fatty acid, what that does is it decreases the intermolecular attraction between the molecules, the fatty acids, and that decreases the melting point because we have to input less energy to break those intermolecular bonds because we have less of those bonds. And ultimately, because the fatty acids don't attract as well as a result of these double bonds, uh, increasing the number of double bonds in the fatty acid not only lowers the melting point, it also increases the fluidity of that fatty acid. So unsaturated fatty acids have a lower melting point due to weaker intermolecular interactions. Less energy must be input to actually break those weaker bonds and so that means a lower melting point. Now the weaker the intermolecular bonds are, the less likely they are actually held together and so that makes them much more fluid.